What's going on you lot? I hope you're all well. Now one of my favorite side dishes ever has to be prawn toast. I don't think there's many better combinations than white bread, delicious prawn paste, topped with sesame seeds. Now that I've said prawn paste out loud, it doesn't sound that delicious. But I'll still stand by my previous statement. Unfortunately, most prawn toast just doesn't cut it anymore. It's not what it used to be. So I thought, fuck it, I'll just do it myself. And now I wish I hadn't, because now I've pretty much ruined prawn toast for myself forever. First thing we need to tackle is the bread. Now, we're not using basic white slice like most people. Oh no, we are doing this right. So I'm using my Hokkaido milk bread recipe. Link is in the description down below. And I've baked this into a perfectly square shaped loaf. No fancy tricks here. I just bought the squarest looking two pound loaf tin that I could get that also has a lid. This is called a Pullman's loaf and it's pretty easy to find, but watch out, some of these tins are a little bit tapered down to the base. So if you want a really square piece of bread, you might just want to double check that isn't the case. I'll leave a link to the one that I'm using in this video in the description below. Once you've got your bread baked, cooled and ready to go, cut yourself off some thick slices, one or two centimeters thick, we're not messing around, and then put these to one side. Now for the prawns. Take half the prawns and about 300 grams in this case, and using a sharp knife, roughly chop them up. Don't go too fine, because this is gonna add some texture to our prawn toast. So you're gonna wanna know that they're in there. Once chopped, put them to one side. Place the remaining 300 grams of prawns into the bowl of a food processor along with 40 grams of egg white, which is about one egg white, five grams of salt, 10 grams of sugar, four finely sliced spring onions, 10 grams or two teaspoons of soy sauce, 15 grams or one tablespoon of fish sauce, 30 grams or two tablespoons of sesame oil, and 30 grams or two tablespoons of liquid shio koji. Then finally grate a three centimeter piece of ginger and two garlic cloves in as well. Once all that's in the food processor, whiz it up into a fine paste, scraping down the sides of the bowl as needed. Once the prawn mixture is looking lovely and pasty, remove it from the food processor and into a large mixing bowl. Then add your roughly chopped prawns along with 20 grams of freshly chopped coriander. Give that all a good mix together and that's it. The prawn part of this prawn toast is ready to go. Now I know it looks super delicious right now, but please try and refrain from eating it as hard as that might be. Now you can spread this paste all over the bread, edge to edge, corner to corner, making sure to spread it out in an even thickness. And I don't think I'd be exaggerating to say that I think it's best to get the prawn layer as thick as the bread. That way you've got a nice prawn bread ratio balance. Don't stress if it's not quite as neat as this, we don't all have the leisure of smoothing and scraping to our heart's content until we're 100% happy with our prawn coverage. The next step will hide most issues anyway. Finish it off, flip the bread prawn side down into a large bowl or plate of sesame seeds, giving it a little shake and a tilt to make sure the prawn layer is fully covered by those seeds. We don't want these looking patchy, so if you need to, feel free to re-dip these to get the best coverage you can. It should look like this ideally for maximum effect. I mean, this looks so good if I do say so myself, and we haven't even cooked it yet. Heat a deep fat fryer or a pan of oil to 180 degrees, and carefully place the prawn toast prawn side down into the hot oil and fry for four or five minutes on each side until the sesame seeds and the bread are golden brown and that prawn mixture is firm to the touch. To be honest, I was surprised by how little action was going on in the oil when we put it in sesame and prawn side first. I don't know if the sesame seeds are creating a protective little barrier or something, but don't be surprised if it looks like this when you're frying it. Those sesame seeds are still toasting and that prawn layer is definitely cooking, so just keep an eye on it and flip it when it's ready. Once the toasts are cooked, place them onto a rack to drain in order to keep the bread nice and crispy. Then once you're ready to go, you can cut each piece of bread into four gorgeous triangles. Serve up some sweet chili dipping sauce and plate these next level prawn toasts up. I tried to plate them up all pretty and fancy light, but you can see I just gave up with that and now they look a little bit more rustic instead. The beauty is definitely within these prawn toasts. I thought it'd be fun to compare them with the ones you can buy in the shops, but to be honest, there really wasn't much comparisons visually or flavor wise. I mean, just look at the size difference. My prawn toast is basically a meal in itself. Now all that's left to do is dip these suckers in some cracking homemade sweet chili dip and have a little cry about how you'll never be able to truly enjoy a takeaway prawn toast ever again. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this recipe, go check out my channel. I've got a ton more just like this one, which I'm sure you will love. Like, subscribe and all the other algorithm bullshit. And I'll see you in the next one.